Craven is really good. He's good in three and four. Looks like they're pretty even on this end of the racetrack. Yeah, he don't really pull away from him coming off turn two, but right here, going down into turn three, this is where we'll watch him. Watch One this. and a half laps to go. Watch this. Here he goes. Craven gets that high right out next to that wall. Watch. Right watch there. Close. Right there in the middle. Cuts down. He's going to make a down. He's going to get down under him. That's not the way to do it. I don't know. Come on, baby. Come on. Side by side. Two laps to go. Somebody's got to give. Getting into turn one. Nobody. And in the wall goes Bush. That's not. That was not a very good idea. Look at the crossover move. He got into it. Come on, Blair. Good job, man. Hang in there. And here comes Blaney. Blaney oh, is oh. now the best car on the track. Oh, baby. I'm telling you, Kurt Busch is not going to give up the win. No, he's not. They'll be coming to the white flag this time. Ricky Craven's not going to give up either. Come on, Ricky. He gets that run on the high side right there. Kurt Busch is like struggling with his race car. Here he Bush comes. Here we go hard. again. He's going to wait on him. He's going to put the crossover on him. He realized that wasn't a good move that last time. White flag. Here he goes. He's going to try to slide under him here. Come on, baby. And Blaney's coming. Both these cars are driving terrible right now. Not nah. left to go. Nah, they're driving good. Come on, baby. You can do it on this end of the speedway. Come off the four and get up alongside of him. Half a mile Here he gone. comes. Here he comes. Who's going to get off? Here he comes. Here he comes. He's got him this time. It's going to be a drag race. Wow. They touch. They touch. Craven oh, got him. Craven got him. Craven got him. And Craven. All right. What a finish. Have you ever? No, I've never. Wow. Uh, what a finish. <laughs> that is coming off turn four onto the front stretch. That's about as close as it'll get right there. And this right here, I don't know what kept them from both wadding them up down here in turn t uh, turn one, but bam, oh boy, Craven really shot out into it. It is amazing they didn't wreck after they crossed the start finish line. Daryl, if instead of Bush coming down into Craven, if he stays straight, does he beat Craven? I don't think he had any choice, Mike, because Craven came off the bottom and really slammed into him. I think they got hooked together and couldn't get apart. Look at Craven in there. Look at him fighting that steering wheel. And it's a, a good thing that Pontiac's got the kick out on the nose. Yeah, that was the difference. <laughs> but he wouldn't have won. Look at how close this finish is. Right oh. there. Wow. <laughs> oh, baby. And I'm going to tell you what, they didn't even need seats in these grandstands because nobody was sitting down. And nobody's leaving. Look at this, right to the line. How close can you get it? But now, what's really, when they get on down here, I mean, I, I thought they were both going to wad them up and they'd have to take him to Victory Circle on the rollback. Watch him nail the gas, makes a run up, but he says, I got to go to the bottom. Bush wibble, wiggles a little bit, and here he comes. And Craven just, bam, got loose, and Kurt hadn't been there thinking he hit the wall. <laughs> Eight wheels was better than four right got there. Got that right, baby. <laughs> this is on great racing, man. And for all you fans out there that says NASCAR racing has been boring lately, oh. take this. I'm telling you. Like those cars were welded together. Well, you think about Kurt Busch and uh, Dale Jarrett at Rockingham. Now Kurt Busch and Ricky Craven here today.